hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome it's nice to have you my name is d and i write under the pen names sky winter and lily love lily love is the newest addition to my pen name family i am doing a patreon experiment and it essentially is me allowing you to shadow me as i go through creating a new pen name for romance shorts is clean and wholesome and sweet romance their rom-com style and they'll be set in a cute little small town and that's what the next video on my patreon is going to be i'm going to be creating a whole map and filling in um some things in my series bible and notion for the town so i figured why not discuss some things about fictional small towns here on my youtube channel as well and so that you guys are following along sort of <laughs> what i'm doing they're seeing the whole behind the scenes but i'm going to bring you along into the top five th tips i can speak to consider when you're creating a fictional small town i am going to show you my legend sport map that i started out with <laughs> um of course maps for me i'm a plotter i'm not a plotter i'm a penster so things change as i write the stories um and yeah so i'm gonna show you legend sport and we're gonna go from there so stick around stay tuned and let's chat small towns Let's go ahead and share my screen. I'm gonna show you the map. Be gentle. <laughs> I like messing around with maps, but you know, they get better each time I make a new one. This one isn't the best, but it's what I use for Legends Port. And yeah, if you are not aware, Legends Port is the small town that my books under Sky Winter are currently based off on based in there is faking it for summer and that's free now on amazon and ku and their amazon sorry it's not in ku is free you can grab it on any platform you want and there is one night in summer one night with summer and that is on amazon and amazon ku for you to go ahead and check it out it is super late guys it is 12.53 a.m. <laughs> but I'm getting these videos filmed from uh, tonight because I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So I figured why not just get it over with. I'm awake. My brain is active. Let's do this. So uh, this is Legends Port. Welcome, welcome. If you have read the any of the two books that are available, you will know that there are scenes that happened at the restaurant in the first book along the beach, right? And for the second book, um, autumn and winter get to go to the summer festival that's going on right here, right? We also know, <laughs> yes, I get very in-depth, right? There is going on at the festival. Bradley works at the police station right here right <laughs> so it's it's a lot right there is a lot um that goes into maps things change most of these places haven't come into play yet but i generally have a, a an idea the characters come to me first so i generally have an idea of what i want the characters to be what they do for work and um that's how we go like dylan works in this little office right here in my brain this is where she plans all the events right and then if you go further down further down <laughs> then you'll find it's cut off but you know if you go further down the road you'll find the bank um that mr blackwell is buying so yeah there are so many things to explore so many things to do and in your map and in your town to create and i'll just leave the map up there for you to go ahead and sightsee while we go through the top five tips all right so tip number one that you want to consider when you're creating um your small town is the name my town right here is basically named legendsport 
And that's essentially because we knew we wanted it to be something. I brainstormed the name, right? I brainstormed the name with... Um, I brainstormed the name with backstage with um, Tiffany and JC and I believe Esther and or a little group, right? I brainstormed backstage. I bounced the ideas off of, off of them, the, the different ideas I had for the names of the town. And then we took a vote, right? Because I'm very indecisive. So I would come up with a string of names that I liked and picked one. Right, I believed Legends Port was it when I knew it because there it is a beach town, right? There are ports along. Well, you can't see it obviously; it's just a little subset of the map. But there are ports along um, the town, and so there is a major port. And I wanted it to be something that legends speak of, right? There are a bunch of legends that run through the town. We haven't. Um, really dove into the legends as yet because most of the legends surrounding the town happen when the town's um, high season dies down, right? So they're mostly like fall and winter legends and like Halloween legends. <laughs> so I really wanted to lean into that legends and because there is this the massive port and there is something coming up for the port i wanted to lean into that so we ended up with legends port <laughs> sorry legends port so um yeah so there is that so you want to make sure the name is fitting to your story like i could not have called this town um legends mountains right it wouldn't have made sense it's not a mountain town there, there are no mountains around. I wouldn't have called it Legends Valley. There isn't a valley. So you want to be sure that the name matches the actual town, right? Um, so you also want to pick a name that's easy to pronounce, easy to remember. I pick Legends Port. It's so easy for somebody to say Legends. So it's so easy for someone to say Port. Don't you go name in your town supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> it's like, be sure that the name is simple easy to remember, easy to pronounce, and makes sense for the type of town you're building, right? Now, next you want to also try to, if you're, you're struggling to figure out what you want, I would say to basically think of real places and are elements of real places that you like and you want to bring in. Legendsport is in Maine, but for me, when I was creating it, I was thinking back to Jamaica, to the, the scenery we had in Jamaica, to the type of vibe we had in Jamaica. In Jamaica, there are beaches, there are rivers, there are, like, there's a part where you can go and you can see the sea, right? Um, there are roads that run along um, beaches. There are roads that run along rivers. There are trees all around. We do have, um, well, we don't have fairs. That's more of uh, a main thing, right? Because I also looked up what was like common for me, what wasn't common for me. Um, <clears throat> I found out that orchids, orchids, orchards, that word, they're commonly found in Maine. So we're like, so I was like, okay, um, what kind of archers do we do I want? And so I I'm, I was in between say apples and um apples and oranges and I I decided to go apples, oranges and peaches is what I was in between. If I remember clearly, I don't remember. And I decided I'll just put the trees there and I'll decide after because you don't need to know everything at once. Right. So I just knew I was going to have some from Archard there. It will come into play after. I'm leaning towards apples now, but you know, it can still be anything that I want. So I just dropped the three the trees there so that I could remember I want some some form of archer to be included. Right. So you all you want to think of real places, real elements that you love and you want to include. Right now, the third thing you want to consider when you're making your town is what's going to be the highlight? What's going to make your town stand out? Right. For me, 
is called Legends Port because there is a port. It's not shown here because the port is massive. Even though the small is the town, the town is very small. The port is not even only. So the way I'm creating this is that the port isn't actually like in the town itself. It's like you know that situation where Niagara Falls is in part of it is in Canada, part of it is in U.S. <laughs> Start of what I'm doing. Um, with the port. So a part of it is in my, my small town and a part of it is, the majority of it is really in the neighboring city. But it's such a, a center point of the town that the town is named after it and the port has a legend. So what is it that's going to make your town stand out, right? What's that big highlight for your town? You can either choose to build your town around it or just choose to build the town's history around it. Which brings me to tip number four, create a history for your town. Know what your town is based on, know why it's called, what it's called. Know like what happened, how was it formed? When was it formed? Um, when was it declared a town? Why was it declared a town? Was it something, was it a hamlet first and then it joined with something else? Um, is it a part of a county? Like know the details of your town, right? You wanna be writing your books as if your town is a real place. So know what your town is set on, know the basis of your town, know like the, the little details, the minute details that no one else will care about, but maybe can can be a point of conversation between your characters. You know, maybe one of your characters' um, foot gets stuck in a little in a little um, hole, gaping hole in the sand, and you you can oh, don't you know that this is made of quicksand? <laughs> I don't know, made it up made it up on the fly, but you get the point. Have a history, have little tidbits about your town that makes it uniquely your town, right? Um, and yeah, so and number five create a map, make a map. <laughs> Visual cues are everything. If you're like me, I like to see what I'm writing about. Like my name is, my town is not detailed. Like I don't have the roads named. You will see people um, like, I don't know if you tuned into small town world with Nia and Tiffany, but they make detailed maps, right? The roads would have names. The houses will have, the houses, my chart would have names as well. Um, they'll be like, if there's a museum, the museum will have a name and it will all be on the map, right? So maps can get really, really detailed or really, really light and um, simple. And it depends on your world building style. It depends on sometimes your writing style. I'm a pantser, so I don't really do in-depth, right? I will go crazy on my maps now. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I do go crazy on my maps because gra I, I like graphics. Fooling around with graphics um, is my happy place. It's one of my happy places. So I sometimes make in-depth maps, but yeah, you want to create a map. Give yourself that visual. Not only does it serve as a good marketing tool for your town, but it also helps you along. Like sometimes if you're stuck in writing the story, you can just pull up your map, look at what point in the town the, the character characters are, and then you it may jog something in your memory that you initially wanted to happen that didn't happen. So it, it's helpful for you in the writing process. It's helpful in the marketing process. It The reader is a good little tidbit for your high, super fans that they may want to see the map or they may want to see little tidbits of the map. Like I create multiple things for my town. I have maps. I have um, brochures. I have... Um, Visitors logs. Uh, it's you can create multiple things to make your help your town feel real. Your readers will enjoy it. You will enjoy doing it, and it just gives your town that extra je ne sais quoi. So, those are my top five tips for to consider when creating a fictional town, and. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. This video was completely impromptu. It was brought on because I'm about to go ahead and make a map um, with my patrons. And I was like, let's talk a little bit about map. I'm in the world building phase um, for the Patreon pen name. So we're going to be filling out our series Bible in Notion. And we're going to be creating maps and coming up with 
funny stories that the Iran come pen name is going to be writing are going to the pen name is going to be writing so i thought why not <laughs> so if you want to talk about more world building and talk about more map talk you can head on over to the loveland that's my patreon is patreon.com slash skywinterbooks and continue the journey with us over there where we're going to be creating a map of my town i'm so excited to dive right in and so excited to see it in like see it in front of me i love a map i love a good map <laughs> again my name is d i write under the pen name sky winter and lily love check me out over on patreon at patreon.com slash sky winter books for all the behind the scenes things of lily love where i show you the con from concept to publishing to analytics to royalties marketing and beyond i have books they're on amazon there is faking it for a summer which is free right now there is also one night with summer that you can grab on amazon or kindle unlimited and it's all a good time i also have other books um in the series that was that's the pride mountain series that was released last year you can go ahead and check that out and there is something for everyone there's a variety so i hope you enjoy that i also do beta reading i do bookish designs with diversebookdesigns.com so check me out anywhere you would like on the interwebs under sky winter books it's been great talking to y'all and if you're heading over to my patreon see you over at the loveland have a wonderful evening morning or night bye guys Oh, 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 oh,